Yo, short story! What's up? It's Miss Phillips here, back at you again with another video, and sadly this time I don't have a puppy, so sorry about that. But guess what? We're starting with the first day of this new weird district-wide schedule change thing. If I didn't make it clear, the assignments are going to be the exact same as I've been doing them. In other words, I'll post a video and then post the assignment with instructions. Um, the only difference is that I'm posting them on different days now. So that was why I posted the announcement. And again, you should see a document that will reflect those changes um, sometime today. Okay? Um, today, you're only doing one thing for me, and that is reviewing all of the stories on the adolescence unit. So that's the Gift of the Magi, Pigeon Feathers, and Barn Burning. We're basically reviewing using one document, okay? And I'm not having you review everything in every single part of all the stories. You're basically just going to look at one character, aka the protagonist, of each story. Okay, and there's going to be a few things in this chart that I uploaded on the assignment today that I want you to fill out about them. Thankfully, I also uploaded an example of exactly what I wanted, and I basically used Bob, our friend Bob. Remember him from Crunch? You guys remember when you did those Crunch analysis? We watched that short film with that weird guy that cuts the sandwiches with a fork and knife, and then like... Everybody thinks he's growing, but really they're all shrinking. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I used that short film as an example of how I want you to fill it out for your characters in the short stories. Okay? So a few quick things on that. Um, if you basically open up the document, you will see three different categories on the left-hand side. The Gift of the Magi, Pigeon Feathers, and Barn Burning. Pigeon Feathers and Barn Burning already have the character in there that I want you to analyze, and that would be David for Pigeon Feathers and Sardi for Barn Burning, okay? Now, the Gift of the Magi, you get to choose which character you want to analyze, Jim or Della, okay? So even though I wrote both characters in that, I only want you to um, review either Jim or Della. I would recommend Della. There's more information on her, but you do you. Um, so... Yeah, that's the only one where you get to pick. And then, basically, you fill in each category in the chart um, according to what it's asking for. So the first category is, is this character static or round slash dynamic? And you may have to take a look back at what that means or just Google it. Um, but I don't want you to just write static or round. I want you to write why they're static or round. Um, you will probably get um, different answers. Um, depending on which character it is. Um, so don't think that all of them will be the same. That being said, if your character you determine if you determine your character is actually static, that will mean you actually have to write less in the rest of the blank. So that's exciting. Um, but if your character is dynamic, then um, you'll have to write a little more detail. So um, then I just want you to basically list how they are at the beginning, at least two um, characteristics of them at the beginning of the story, two characteristics of them at the end. I want page numbers for both. Um, best quotes, the quotes you think either they say or are said about them uh, in the story. And then how and why they changed if they did change. So I'm, I guess I'm just going to give it away. But a dynamic slash round character changes. They have you know, a complex personality, and they change throughout the story. A static character just stays the same, functionally. Um, so, you may actually have all three characters being the same, um, but you might find that one of them is different than the other two. I guess that's a hint. Um, and so, in this last category, you can leave it blank if they're static, because if they didn't change, you don't have to write anything in that blank. Um, but if they are a dynamic character and they changed by the end of the story, um, then you need to write something in that blank. So the thing I want you to keep in mind is basically make sure you have the right number of things I'm asking for. So if I ask for two examples, write two. Um, and if I want page numbers, make sure you write page numbers. And I am asking you all, please write in complete sentences. Please. Um, I will be giving you guys... Uh, a language competency grade for this. So write it well. Show me that you can find the page numbers. All that good stuff. Um, and then once you're done with this chart, you're done with me for the day. Okay? And go ahead and scroll down in the document I uploaded. If you scroll down to the second page, that's where I put my example. Okay? So the example has... 
exactly the sort of thing that I want. The only difference would be um, for the quotes. There obviously weren't any quotes because it's a short film and there wasn't any really dialogue uh, till the very end and it was like, you know, three words. So I just described scenes instead of quotes. So for you, you'd write quotes in the page numbers the quotes are on. Okay? Um, so that's about it for me for today. Sorry, I don't have any more puppies for you. Uh, you know, if you want to see more puppies in the future, I wouldn't be opposed. So let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful Monday. And I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, reach out to me as always. See ya. Bye.